I'm Lisa Steele, author, blogger, and fifth generation chicken keeper. I live in rural Maine with my husband, flock of chickens, ducks, and geese, Winston the corgi, and Linus the indoor outdoor barn cat. We moved to Maine for the peace and serenity. We wanted a simpler life and to step back in time where there are still corner stores and your neighbors still know your name. Welcome to my farm. It's finally spring in Maine. The grass is green, the sun is shining. I always love this time of year because I can get back out in the garden. And the chickens and ducks, they love it too. And you can't visit Maine in the summer without a trip to the coast. Oh. It should be a dinner right there, huh? <laughs> That wouldn't even fit in our pot. <laughs> so I'm headed to Belfast to check out the lobster scene and to bring home some treats that are literally for the birds. Add a quarter of a cup of salt to your water at home and that will bring the flavor out. A quarter of a cup, like to a, a pot about that size? Uh, yeah, like a pot this size, at least a quarter of a wow. cup of that. Wow, okay, yeah. all right. That salt water will bring the sweetness out of the lobster. This looks amazing. There's nothing better than fresh seafood. Can't beat this beautiful day on the ocean. I really appreciate all your tips and your expert advice. Thank you so much. We have a fun tradition that was passed down from my husband's family. When he was little, his mom would often make strawberry shortcake for dinner. Not as dessert, but for dinner. So I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. And I can't think of a better way to highlight these gorgeous fresh berries. My grandmother raised chickens for most of her life, and I'm pretty sure she ate eggs almost every day for breakfast. There are so many ways to cook eggs, but I have a little tip for you to make your scrambled eggs even better. I recently had a friend come and visit from the UK, and she showed me how to make scotch eggs. I've never had a scotch egg before, but they were so delicious, and what I really loved about them is that they're portable, so if you're running in for a quick lunch and you've got to go back outside to get things done, you can just kind of grab them and go and eat on the go and they include eggs, of course. I'm gonna tuck some eggs into this bread and make it a super fun Easter egg bread. I'm using my own eggs because we have all different colors. You don't need to cook the eggs because they're going to cook as the bread bakes. So I'm just going to take some eggs and sort of pull the braid apart a little bit and tuck them in. So before the day that your chicks are coming, you're obviously going to wanna to get all your supplies ready. Again, they're babies, so it, you have to set up a nursery for them. Same as if you were bringing home a real life human baby. So I experiment with different things, and this year, I'm trying this. I found some little espresso cups, secondhand, and I epoxied the cup to the saucer, and I figured these would make really cute little water dishes. You want the chicks to have room temperature water, so you do wanna get the water set up well in advance of the chicks coming. It's still a little bit early in the season for our regular vegetable garden to start producing, so it'll be a while before we have tomatoes or cucumbers or green beans, but my rhubarb has been going great. Rhubarb is really a cold climate type crop. So I'm here with John at the entrance to this absolutely awesome corn maze. I've never been through a corn maze before. I came here for apples today, didn't even realize that all this was here. You are retired Navy, my husband's retired Navy, and you do Trees for Troops. Tell Absolutely. me about that. A lot of the growers from all over the state uh, donate trees, and they'll be distributed to bases uh, throughout the country so that they can have that experience of feeling like they're back home. Summer might be short in Maine, but there's such an abundance of fresh produce available all over the state. So make sure you check what's available in your state, or why not even try growing some yourself? The chickens are gonna love these ice pops. Over the years, I've raised so many different breeds of chickens and ducks, and I like different breeds for different reasons. There really is no one best breed. What matters is that it's the best breed for you. If you're not a regular oyster eater, sometimes if you've never tried I've one, never had an oyster, or not raw. Not raw. No. Is this some cocktail sauce and some lemon. Whose idea was this, that this was something should be eaten? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take one for the team here. Right? <laughs> oh, all right. Mm-mm. Not happening. All right, we can give it the empty <laughs> shell. You can cut that, right? <laughs> Fine. I'm so excited. Oh. Do we have to do this segment? And I've got the chickens out here to help me. Were they in that at all? You do need a six inch round saw bit. Is that what it's called? Hole bit, hole saw bit. You monkey wrench guys, you don't know? 